Okay, um, law of signs, the ambiguous case. This is the case where it could be that zero triangles exist, one triangle exists, or two triangles exist. So, we don't know when we're given this information, and this is when we are given um, side, side, angle. We just don't know what kind of um, triangles could be created. So, we have to do the work of figuring that out. Um, on your worksheet, I have three examples. Um, example three goes like this. This is what we do. They give us A is 15 degrees, little a is 53 centimeters, and little b is 48 centimeters. Okay, so let us begin here and say, what did they give us? So draw yourself a triangle. This is A, they said 15 degrees. This is little a, they said 53 centimeters. This is B, so little b is 48 centimeters. So they gave us side, side, angle. So you say, oh, this is the case where I can use law signs, but I have all this ex little bit of extra work to do. So we begin with, this is where you begin with this. Um, you're always gonna have a side, side angle. So you begin with the information you know. We know A is 15 and little a, is 15 degrees and little a is 53. So we have this ratio complete. Then you find the only other angle that you can find using law of sines, and that would be angle B in this case because we know B. So we're gonna use these proportions basically. So begin by saying, okay, um, the sine, a B is what I want to know, is to the length of B 48 centimeters as the sine of A, the sine of, of 15 degrees, is to the length of A 53 centimeters. We will cross multiply, right? And so we get that the sine of B times 53 centimeters is equal to 48 centimeters times the sine of 15 degrees. To solve for sine of B, we divide both sides by 53 centimeters. That will cancel, so really this is what the sine. So the sine of B is equal to all of this. Um, we could cancel the centimeters right here if we want. 48, 48, sine of 15 degrees divided by 53. Okay, and these are degrees. We could even cancel, I mean, those centimeters are canceled. So how we want angle B. What we have to do is use our calculator and use an inverse function. So right here, I need to apply an inverse. So let's do that. If I take the sine inverse of this side of the equation and the sine inverse of this side of the equation, the sine inverse and the sine will undo each other, and I'm just left with angle B is equal to this. So in my calculator, I will press the sine inverse, sine inverse second, sine will give you sine inverse, and then I wanna be careful, I have to, I'm gonna use the parentheses around my numerator, um, 48 times the sine of 15. I close the parentheses on the sine argument and I close the parentheses on my numerator and I divide it by 53 and then I close the argument on the whole thing. Um, that keeps me safe um, to make sure it understands my numerator and my denominator. And I get that the that angle B is 15, I mean 13.556 or 13.6 is what I'm gonna go with. 13.6 degrees. All right, so angle B is 13.6 degrees. Okay. Now, with this information, we can finish solving this triangle, and we should finish this solving this triangle. But I'm putting a pause on finish solving this because the big deal here is, that's old news. The big deal here is, is there a second triangle? So this is, we got it here. This is how you check, check for second triangle. This is what we have to do. Okay. What you do is if a second triangle exists, the given information is the same. That is given. But 
we could have an angle that's 13.6 degrees or we could have an angle B that is its supplement, 180 degrees minus that. So this is the potential. We would do this, we'd say, okay, let us draw the given information again. A, B, C, what are they? A was 15 degrees, 15 degrees. Um, B is 48 centimeters. A is 53 centimeters. Okay, that's what they give us. Now, we just discovered we can make one triangle with this B. Okay, we're gonna finish that. Do two triangles exist? I don't know. So what we do is we say, well, what would, so if I, I'm gonna label this B1 because potentially there's two triangles. So I'm gonna label this B2. What would B2 be? All right, B2, if it, if it exists, if second triangle exists, then B2 would equal to 180 degrees minus B1. That's the possibility. Okay, so what is 180 degrees minus B1? Well, B1 is 13.6, right? So that means minus 13.6, okay? And so what do we get in that case? Okay, let's see. 180 minus 13.6 is 166.4. This is 166.4 degrees. Okay, so if this, a second triangle exists, then this will be 15 degrees, and this will be 166.4 degrees. Now, we go back to our basic rule, which is any triangle that exists in nature, um, the angles of all three add up to be 180 degrees. So this is what we do. We take 180 degrees, take 180 degrees, and we're gonna subtract the given angle A, and we're gonna subtract angle B two, and we're gonna see what we get. And if we get a number bigger than zero, then a second triangle exists. But if we, don't, if we get a negative number, there are not enough degrees left to form a third angle and we go, okay, only one triangle exists. So let's see what we get here. 180 degrees minus 15 minus 166.4 gives me 180 minus 15 minus 166.4 gives me negative 1.4, negative 1.4 degrees I went negative. That means there's not enough angles to form a third triangle. So, okay, we're just going to say, okay, only one triangle exists. All right, so then let's go over here and finish the work that we have to do to, to figure out. What's the only thing we have left to do? We needed to discover what angle B was. So, we know B is this. We also need to know... Um, we have little a, little b, um, angle a, angle b. We can find angle c real easy by subtracting that from 180. c is equal to whatever. Um, so let's see, 180 degrees minus 13.6 minus 15 will give us angle c. So what is that? 180 minus 15 minus 13.6 is 151.4. This is 151.4 degrees, okay? What else is left to find? So now we know angle C. Uh, we know little a, little b. The only thing left to find is little c. All right, let's use law signs. Um, I'm looking for little c is to the sign of 151.4 angle C as, I'm gonna go back to the given information again, as little a, 53 centimeters, is to sine of 15 degrees. And we'll cross multiply and solve for C. C is gonna to equal to 53 times the sine of 154.4 degrees divided by the sine of 15 degrees. So it goes like this. Uh, let's see, 53 times 
the sine of 151.4 divided by the sine of 15 gives me 98.02 or just 98.0 centimeters. So this is C, this is C, this is B, and that triangle is solved. That's our first um, ambiguous case.